Hello, welcome to another video by Moxa Marine. Today I'm proud to launch uh, a new product for my channel and it's called the Delco EST Ignition System. Um, I've covered this in several videos already, but um, if you have a Mercruiser uh, boat from say 1985 all the way up to maybe 20, uh, year 2015, is if it's carburetor, more than likely has what's called the Mercruiser Thunderbolt Ignition System. The Thunderbolt Ignition System has a module which um, is prone to uh, go defective at this time in its age and you cannot buy a new one. They're no longer available for Mercruiser. So about your only option is to get one off eBay or some other view source, but uh, you're more than likely going to get enough views and it's probably just as bad or defective. And they don't go out all of a sudden. They kind of start flaking out and having problems and uh, kind of misfiring and sputtering and stuff like that. So the solution to your Mercruiser Thunderbolt ignition system is to upgrade to what's called the Delco EST ignition system. This is a system that's uh, manufactured by Delco. And as a matter of fact, Volvo Penta uh, from the factory used the Delco EST ignition system uh, right out of the box. So Mercruiser created their own proprietary ignition. Volvo Penta didn't, they used the Delco system. So this is a kit that I've put together and I'm gonna be selling uh, off my YouTube channel and off a website. And uh, I'm gonna describe what the components in the kit are right now. So this is a V6 distributor and it comes with the uh, a module in it. I replaced that module with a different module, which I'll explain in a second. But that's the, uh, the only electronic component in the, dis the V6 distributor that uh, I purchased, the pickup inside the distributor that triggers the module. Like I said, the module comes separate. These are four harnesses. Uh, this one I buy, the other three I make myself. So this is your distributor from your coil over to your distributor. This is your shift kill harness. I will make a separate video on how to use each of these harnesses. This is your uh, set timing harness. And um, contrast my harness to, there's an alligator clip here. If you look at some of the other kits on the internet, they don't include the alligator clip. I got it included. So those are the harnesses. This is the ignition module. It's a General Motors ignition module and the part number is D1965A. I will not sell or use any other module. I don't care who makes it or where it comes from. I will not buy it unless it's this module. And you can tell the genuine GM module because it has the GM uh, logo on the front top of it. And the part number is on the back. Let's see, it's a uh, 1941-8839. That's what's on the box right here. This module is the heart of the system and it will make or break the installation. Trust me. I've, I had once had uh, five boats in a row that I was using a different brand module. It's supposed to be a good quality module. It's paying almost as much as this module. And um, I had a problem that uh, the boat would get on the water and stall. It was stalling in a random fashion. It took me a long time to figure out what was causing it. But I finally just had to sw start swapping parts. And when I swapped the modules, all, all five modules with the GM modules, all five boats were, were, were fixed. Next is a set of spark plug wires. There's no big deal about these. It's part number 9716U. It's a six-cylinder set. By, by the way, this is a V6 set you're looking at. And then last is a General Motors a, a Delphi coil. This is General Motors. Let me see if we get it. Yeah, there you go, Delphi. The part number is GN148. And on these coils, I make my own special bracket, and it mounts to the back of the uh, cylinder head on the General Motors V6, V8, 5.0, 5.7, 6.2, or the 454. And by the way, this kit can be used... Um, not this particular kit, but th there's a Delco EST system for the three liter, the 4.3, the 5.0, the 5.7, 6.2 if you want to, and then the, five, the 454. So there is a Delco EST solution for all those engines and I will sell all of those kits. And as you see, those are the brackets. These are brackets I get uh, laser cut and then I powder cut them and rivet them to the uh, coil. And those are brackets I make myself. Basically I took a Volvo Penta design that's been discontinued, copied it and started making it myself. So, and uh, I've got the barcode, my uh, own SKU code for uh, if I ever sell on Amazon, you have to have a SKU to sell on Amazon. So that's the kit. Um, like I say, there'll be, I'll do videos on each of these parts on how to install them. In addition to the videos I've already got there on my, out there on my channel, I'll do new videos on how to install all these parts. Um, the only thing I will say is um, between these two videos, these, excuse me, these two harnesses here, in a previous video, I basically dual purposed um, the set timing connector or set timing tool as both the shift kill and the set timing. I've kind of had a change of opinion about that. Um, I just decided that it would probably be better to have a separate shift kill connector so that when you want to set your timing, just pop this plug out of your distributor, pop this one in, set your timing, swap them back. Um, 
so again, I'll explain that later in the video when I actually show you what to do with the harnesses. But um, as I was saying, this is a new kit that I've, uh, I've been styling myself for about a year. And um, at first I wasn't gonna get into uh, selling these kits just because I'm um, dealing with warranty returns and warranty issues and trying to help people get it going is, is sometimes a pain. But um, I decided to go ahead and sell the kits because I think my kits are better quality than anything else out there. Uh, the Sierra kit, I know that Sierra has a kit, uh, Engine Depot, Eng uh, Marine Engine Depot has a kit. And again, if you look at their, if you compare their products, they're not quite as good as uh, quality these. They don't use the General Motors ignition module. They use a, a flimsier bracket. Um, I know a lot of my customers say they had to fabricate their own bracket to mount it on the side of the exhaust module, or excuse me, the exhaust manifold. And this bracket doesn't do that. It mounts on the back of the, the cylinder head ready to go. By the way, the hardware that comes in these brackets, uh, the nuts are just to keep things on there so it doesn't fall off. You can throw the nuts away when you, when you get the bracket. So that's it. Um, looking forward to start selling these kits. And uh, um, like I say, I'm gonna have more video series on how to install all these parts one at a time. And I hope you enjoy the kit. And um, thanks for supporting my channel and subscribing and uh, good night.